my students. See you again morning. So are you all ready or not? So today I want to go through is a uh, chapter 12. The one is the last one. Okay, the last one for the nuclear energy. Okay, everybody can listen to me. Okay, I just want to make sure my line is okay. Can listen, can see me. Okay, anybody can answer me? Hey, Jun, can you see me? Okay, Jala can see. Okay, so uh, so we prepare um, the, the module I give you. That means after this lesson, you need to do the module. You also need to download what I upload already in the Google Classroom. Okay, if you uh, no printer, so for the student, you just can answer straightforward inside your exercise book. Lah. Okay, answer, uh, no need to copy the question. Okay, but if you never copy the question, you also do understand, is it? So, so you just read the question, then you answer it. Okay, so you must follow this lesson, then you can do the exercise. Okay, so uh, for the student, you can write your attendant in the Google Classroom. Later, I will check there. Okay, so here you no need to mention your name. Okay, you straightforward. Uh, later, I ask you the question, you just answer here. Okay, so uh, we start the lesson now. I share my screen. Okay. So, uh, can you see my screen or not? Okay, can you see my screen? Eh? Okay, Noreen, come already. Ong Yun Pei. Okay, okay, so I want to start my lesson. Eh? So, my lesson today is should be the uh, lesson 12. The one should be the last one for the science topic. Okay, there's a nuclear energy. So nuclear energy, I will separate by two parts. This one should be the part one. So we go through what's a nuclear energy. Okay, first one, the use of the nuclear energy. Okay, we need to know what's the uses for nuclear energy. Okay, because in Malaysia, we're still using the normal, the general one, we're using the hydro, we're using the, uh, the gas one, the heat. The petroleum energy to heat it but this one nuclear energy uh why there's a big uses for other country because they are produced very very large of the heat energy finally you can generate the electricity okay so we're going to see what's the next okay function for the nuclear energy that can generate the electricity in order to replace or you say reduce the yield for the batterium and also the charcoal because the batterium and the coal this one after you use for certain time they will finish to use okay there's a not uh, uh cannot create again so you need to wait for a long time they can create again so but nuclear energy they can repeat and repeat to use it okay so now we go through. Okay, it is produced in a greater quantity and also more efficient if you compare to the other energy sources. So that's why, although we know they got so many uh, disadvantages, also they're so dangerous, but they still can provide more of the energy to generate electricity. Okay, so we can go and see another uses for the nuclear energy. Okay, they can produce the uh, ionizing for the radiation. Okay, let's see what's the radiation that come out. Okay, the produce of the ionizing radiation they can use for the various of the fuel. Okay, after you do the nuclear energy, they can produce the ionization, the radiation. Example, alpha, beta, and also gamma. And that one is the radiation that can come out. I think you listened before, is it gamma ray? Okay, this one is a one of the ionization they produce when they do the process of the nuclear energy. So the various of the fuel they can use for radiation, medicine. 
for the medicine we also using the radiation for the agriculture and also industry we also using this one radiation let's see the example okay for this one ct scan okay normally ct scan they're also using the radiation to inject your body after that you can see what happened inside there then for the agriculture also got you see the plantation they got inject the radioactive in the uh, in the plants after that they find it the plant is more healthy okay and this one should be the industry okay they're using the radiation to do some uh, uh, solution for the thickness of the paper okay sometimes they're using for piping they want to check about the piping okay then this one's the second uh, users for the nuclear energy the first one is generate electricity number two is produce the ionization for the radiation okay let's see the next Okay, the next they say there's a less greenhouse effect. Okay, why they say there's a less greenhouse effect? Because they don't have any burning. They don't using the petrol, don't using the gas, any charcoal go to burn. No. So that's why they reduce the greenhouse effect. Okay, let's see the explanation. Okay, they release very little greenhouse gases compared to the other energy sources so this one is the third one why we want to choose the nuclear energy because they reduce the greenhouse effect okay now we go and see the effect of the radio uh, using the radioactive waste nuclear energy source after you do the uh, power station inside the power station they produce the nuclear energy after they sure got something that's a waste because you finish they got some pollute pollute to come out so this one is an example for the radioactive wave you can see the diagram this all is a waste so that's why you see the river all become like this okay example for explanation can affect the health and also to threaten the life of the living things so this one is a one of the effect we all care about that because they're not for yours they're also for your generation so this one is the first one big disadvantages we ignore to using the nuclear energy in our country so they will threaten the life and also the living things okay if the waste you cannot uh, cannot control and you cannot uh, settle it better better method so they will cost about the living things got uh, the healthy problem okay another one the effect they produce a huge energy okay just now i told you already they can produce more energy if you compare with the petrol we compare with the gas so this one is the example okay okay we go through the next one Okay, wait now for a while. Okay. Okay, now we're going to see the huge energy produced. Okay, they produce a large amount of the heat energy. Okay, after that, they produce can be caused about the civil harm to the mankind if it is misused. Okay, they were harmful. Okay, if you never use properly. So they say misuse, that means the large energy that will produce a nuclear bomb. That one is a one of the big effects. So you can see the diagram here. The power is too high already okay the heat energy is too high already so that's why we want to choose this one as a uh, our electricity uh, generate so we choose the normal one okay so this one is a reason so many country also do want to use okay another one the reason is the cost is too high already okay the cost is too high already so that means we cannot afford so we do want to use this type of the uh, sources for the nuclear energy so we're going to see the next part. Okay, I'm going to find my mouse. 
Okay, production of the nuclear energy. So we learn so many about the energies, then we need to know how come they produce. Okay, how come they produce the nuclear energy? Okay, let's see the example here. Okay, nuclear energy, that's the energy resulting from reaction in the nucleus of the atom. So that means that it cannot come out. You must know the process. The process like this. The energy they produce from the reaction for nucleus of the atom. They're using the nucleus atom. After that, they do the reaction. Finally, the energy can be produced. So this energy, we call it as a nuclear energy. So this one is a definition for nuclear energy. Okay, then we're going to see the next one. Nuclear energy to produce first step by the nuclear fission. So I introduced the first process, how to produce a nuclear energy. That's a nuclear fission. Okay, remember the word nuclear fission. Okay, now we go to explain what means of nuclear fission. Okay, nuclear fission is a process. Okay, the process to splitting a heavy radioactive nucleus into two or more nuclei, which are lighter and more stable and also release the energy. Okay, let's see the diagram. Okay, this one is an example diagram. This one is a heavy radioactive nucleus. Normally, the heavy uh, radioactive nucleus, we call it as a uranium. Okay, remember the name, they call uranium. Okay, after that, they will uh, do the radioactive they produce two and also more nuclei. So this one we call nuclei. That means the nucleus that come out is more lighter. Okay? Lighter than the ori. This one we call unstable nucleus. When they come out these two, we call it stable nucleus. Okay, you can call this one is a parent. This two is a daughter. Okay, we don't have any son now. We just say daughter. Okay, these two daughters must be lighter compared to the parents. And they are more stable. After that, this process, they will come out the energy. This energy, we call it what? There's a nuclear energy. Okay? So this is a one of the process to produce a nuclear energy. Okay? Remember the name? There's a nuclear fission. Okay, now we go through the diagram, the big diagram. Okay, this one is an example diagram, how to happen the nuclear fission. Okay, first one, I want to show you the small size here. This one is neutron. The neutron will hit the uranium. This one, uranium is a parent. That one is an unstable nucleus. Okay, when it just hit, okay, the uranium will split two of the daughter. These two daughters become stable nucleus. Okay, one is a barium, another one is a krypton. Okay, what they come out, you no need to memorize. You just need to know the first one parents, the name we call uranium. Okay, when they just come out two of the lighter nuclei, they also come out three of the neutron. Okay, just now one neutron to hit one uranium. Now after you do, do the process of nuclear fission, they come out three neutrons together and plus one more. There's a nuclear energy. Okay, understand eh, the process? Must neutron hit the uranium? Uranium split two lighter nuclei. Then, and also three of the neutron plus large amount of energy. This one is a nuclear fission. Okay, now I'm using the word to show you how to explain. Okay, first one is a heavy radioactive nucleus, such as a uranium okay we never say they boom never say this uh, radioactive they heat together no we're using the word is a bombarded okay they bombarded with the slow neutron the neutron go to heat the uranium we're using the word by bombarded okay then the next one is okay this one is a diagram okay this one is a neutron heat that means bombarded the new uranium then the split split two lighter nuclei and three neutrons. Okay, number two. The neutron that causes the nucleus to split into two or more lighter and stable nuclei. 
So these two become stable already. Okay, then the third one is a numerous amount of the energy is released during this one, nuclear fission. So that means a large amount of energy after this process that will produce. Okay, so this one we call nuclear energy. Okay, I want to introduce another one that should be chain reaction. Okay, you see the process. The first process we learned before, that's a nuclear fission. Okay, eh? see, be careful. Neutron bombarded the uranium, produced two lighter nuclei, and also three neutron, is it? Okay, chain reaction, the meaning is the neutron, when they just produce three, is it? They go to find another uranium, continue to bombard it. So this one we call chain reaction. If this one situation happen, what you do? We cannot control it. it means nuclear fission will happen and happen so many times and continuous. Okay? So this situation we call chain reaction. Okay, what function for chain reaction? First one, we can use for power station. Power station means you can generate electricity. That one is control chain reaction. That means you can control the situation. If you cannot control what happened, they will produce a nuclear bomb. Ah, that one is very dangerous. So that's why this one is a one of the very, very disadvantages if you cannot control about the nuclear, uh, nuclear fission. So we're going to see the explanation. Okay, nuclear fission that will occur continuously when the neutron bombarded and split a new nucleus of the large mass. Okay, this one reaction, we call it chain reaction. That means the nuclear fission, they will continue to happen. Okay, after that, the neutron will continue to find the uranium to bombard it. Then it produce large and also very large amount of nuclear energy. So if cannot control, they will become the nuclear bomb. Okay, so I got question to ask really. Okay, after I introduce a nuclear fission and also the bomb. Okay, now let's see the question. Okay, in the diagram one, they show the uranium 235, which is bombarded by the particle K. Then after that, they split by tritium and barium and three of the neutron. What is K? Okay, please answer. Okay, I want to see in the chat room. Anybody can answer me. Okay, I wait your answer. You just type inside your chat room. So I will pin your answer here. I want to check is it correct or not. What is K? Okay, just tap it. So anybody? Okay, just tap your answer. Neutron. Okay, we see the first one. Hey, you answer neutron. I think this one is a, a prem, is it? Amanda also said there's a neutron. Okay. So, Jala also said neutron. Okay, we see the answer there. Okay, I want to pin one of the student answer. Okay, this one student. The answer, there's a neutron. Okay, we check the answer. Is it correct or not? Okay, yeah, correct. The answer is a neutron. Okay, so if you follow the lesson, you know that one should be the neutron eh, because they hit the uranium. Okay, so we continue to the next one. Okay, the question two. Okay, the nuclear fission of uranium, 235, that involve a repeated process of the bombardment of an unstable nucleus with the neutron. What is this reaction called? Okay, that means they're repeated to do the nuclear fission. 
So please answer this reaction we call what name? They will continue and continue to do the process. Okay, please type in the chat room. I want to check is it correct or not. Or you can follow my lesson or not just now. Okay, chain reaction. Okay, two answer ready. Okay, some more. Some more, maybe you got others. Okay, Amanda also say like that. Just miss. Then, okay. Nuclear fission. Why nuclear fission? No, nuclear fission just one only. Ah, yeah, chain reaction. So, we put the answer here. Okay. So, I pin the answer here. Then, you can see what's the actual answer. So, this one is a student answer one. Chain reaction. Okay. So, I show here. So, the answer is chain reaction. Okay. So, when you see the question, you must read very careful. When I just say repeated, then you understood. Repeated, that means they will continue to do the nuclear fission. Okay. So, we go through the next one. Okay. Now, we go to question number three. Okay, diagram 1.1, they show the nuclear fission of the radioactive substance. That's uh, particle P bombarded the uranium, produced the two lighter nuclei and three neutrons. State the energy produced in this process. What energy they produce in this process? So anybody can type here. Okay, hopefully they got other students to type. Okay. So, state the energy produced in this process. So, just now the lesson, I keep continue, continue, continue to mention the name. So, hopefully you understand. So, what's the answer? Okay, you can type inside the chat room. We see what's the answer for this process. Nuclear energy, yeah. Actually, lean nuclear energy. Okay. And you see why. Wow. So, nuclear. And you see what means I don't understand. Okay, nuclear energy. Maybe you uh, type wrong. Wrong typing, eh? Okay, so the answer here. Okay, I've been ready. Okay, we check it. Is it correct or not? Okay, this uh okay from the choose scene, the answer nuclear energy. So we check it the answer. Okay, that's a nuclear energy. Okay, so this one is a three question. Just refer just now what I teach you. So if you can answer means you are understand already what I want to show just now. Okay, so we continue to the next part. Okay, after finish the nuclear fission, I want to introduce another part. They also produce a nuclear energy. That one is nuclear fusion. Okay, make sure the spelling you are correct uh, because they're almost the same. This one is F-U-S-I-O-N. Just now is F-U-S-S-I-O-N. Okay, fission now is a fusion. Okay, now we go through the fusion. Okay, this one is a process fusing or you say combining two light radioactive nuclei to form a heavy nucleus with release of energy. Okay, this process just opposite the fission. Fission is a big size, becomes small size, is it? But the fusion, uh, the fusion is combined. The smaller, smaller size, two combined together become the larger size. Okay, we see the diagram here. Okay, this one is a fusion. Can you see two of the lighter nuclei? One is a deuterium, another one is a tritium. When they heat together, they become the big size. Okay, the big size, this one we call nuclear fission. Okay, they will produce an energy also. So this one diagram, they're just opposite with the fission. Okay, fission is spread. This one they want to combine. Okay, so after combine, they also release large amount of energy. That one energy, we also call it as a nuclear energy. 
Okay, so this is a nuclear fusion. Okay, the explanation for nuclear fusion. Two light and small nuclei such as, okay, deuterium and also the tritium. That's a hydrogen isotope. Then when they just combine, they form the bigger, okay, the bigger nucleus and also they will produce the energy. Okay, this one is a nuclear fusion. Okay, number two, this process, they occur at a very high temperature. That means not simply to be happen. They must happen in the high temperature, then nuclear fusion can be functioned. Okay, high temperature normally is rare. Okay, so this process, they release more nuclear energy than the nuclear fission. So this one, I want to repeat number two, they will happen in the high temperature. Very high temperature is where normally in the sun. Okay, the sun energy, that means your solar system. So this process will occur there. Okay, then the producer energy is bigger some more compared to the nuclear fission. Okay, now we see the nuclear fusion in the sun. Okay, from the sunlight, that means the very high temperature. Okay, nuclear fusion, they occur continuously in the sun. Okay, this because the sun has a hydrogen isotope and also high temperature. So normally you want to generate electricity, we're never using this one because you need sun energy, you know, that's a too high already. So normally you want to generate electricity, we're just using the nuclear fission. Okay, but need to let you to know nuclear energy can produce by two processes. One is a nuclear fission, another one is a nuclear fusion. Okay, now I want to introduce is a nuclear power station. That means we generate electricity by using nuclear fission. So this one is an example diagram for the power station. Okay, now we go through the structure. Okay, every structure for the power station. Okay, this part, that's a reactor. That means they want to happen the nuclear fission. That will happen for this part. Okay, this part, can you see the electric generator? Okay, I zoom. Okay, electric generator. Mean this part, they want to generate electricity. Okay, so we separate by two parts. One is a reactor. Another one is a, a generator. Okay, we go through the explanation. Okay, nuclear power station. That's a nuclear energy is to generate the electricity. The generation of the electricity from the nuclear energy is done in the nuclear power station. That means you want to generate, you must build the nuclear power station. When you want to build, you must find the big location. Okay, and also the location is far away from your house area because there's a very dangerous. Okay, you want to build, you also need high cost. Uh, that one is the reason why we cannot do this situation. Okay, you want to pay so much to build. After that, uh, you need to wait. You don't want to wait uh, how, when we can get back the cost to come back. Okay, the benefit. Okay, now we go through the next one. A nuclear power station that consists two parts, nuclear reactor and also the generator. Okay, the nuclear reactor, they produce a huge amount of energy. That means from the first part, they produce large amount of energy. The second part don't have any energy produced. They just want to generate electricity. Okay, now it's a turn. We go through one by one for nuclear power station. So I want to introduce this one. It's a nuclear reactor part. Okay, the bottom one, this one, another side, the right-hand side, that one is a generator part. Okay, so from here, we need to go through one by one for the function for every part at the nuclear reactor. Okay, let's see the nuclear reactor. Better I go to zoom. 
Okay, the first one, they will start with uranium fuel road. Okay, number two is a graphite. Okay, I go to zoom. Okay, first one. This one is a uranium fuel rod, the red color one. Okay, what's the function? They release the heat energy through the nuclear fission. Means in this part, they will do the nuclear fission. Okay, after that, they heat up the gas flow through the reactor core. Okay, they will go to reactor core after do the nuclear fission. Then the energy will be passed. Okay, pass, then we go to number two. Number two is a graphite moderator. Graphite moderator is a gray color at the side. Okay, they can slow down the neutron. What situation we need to slow down the neutron? When you fight it, the nuclear fission do very fast. Okay, when it do very fast, that means you cannot control it. You want to make it slow down the process, then you slow down the neutron. Let the neutron don't come out too fast. Okay, so this was the function for the graphite moderator. Okay, eh? then we go to number three. Okay, number three. Okay, number three is a purple color, the whole straight go up one. This one is a boron control rod. Okay, boron control rod, they can control the rate of nuclear fission. That means they control the process. Just now, the graphite just control the neutron to come out. But the neutron come out slow, you still cannot control. Then we need to control the boron. Okay, boron can straightforward stop your nuclear fission. Okay, by absorbing the surplus of the neutron. They absorb. Totally don't come out the neutron. So that means the whole process, they can stop a while already. So this one is how to control the power station. So that's why they might have some graphite. They might have the boron control. So that means the whole process, the nuclear fission, they will stop a while. Okay? So this one's a function for the reactor, uh, the nuclear reactor. How to make the power station that still can under control. Okay, then we go to the part four. Okay, the part four is cooling agent. And part five is a concrete shell. Okay, I zoom. Okay, cooling agent. Cooling agent is the liquid. Okay, they absorb the heat produced by nuclear reaction. After nuclear reaction, they will produce a more heat, is it? So this one is a cooling agent. They cool down the whole process. So they're using the liquid to cool down the heat. Okay, number five is a concrete shell. That means one thing they cover the whole uh, nuclear reactor. Why they want to put the con concrete shell here? They want to prevent the radioactive radiation. They will leakage go outside. That means they got radiation, is it? They got alpha, beta, and gamma, is it? They want to reduce this whole thing. We leakage go to the outside. So if you go to the outside, that's very dangerous. So that's why they need to cover Okay, cover the whole thing or is inside this situation. Okay, this is a concrete shell must using the um, plumber. Okay, copper. Okay, copper, they can absorb all the radiation. So this one is a five part for the nuclear generator. So I recall back, we got uranium rod, we got graphite, we got boron. After that, we got cooling agent, then we got concrete set. Okay, concrete shape means everything you need to know the function. Okay, how to start? Here must happen the nuclear fission, then produce a high energy. High energy will pass through this tube. Okay, the yellow color tube go until this part. Okay, the red color tube, this one is a liquid. Okay, the liquid. That means they're using the hot gas to steam the liquid inside the loop. Okay, if the gas cannot heat up the heat up the liquid, so some gas will come down. The gas just come down, they will condensation become liquid. So they say the cool gas to go back, then the cool gas will go up again. So this one will be repeated. So when you see the hot gas will come, then until down become cool, then go back. Okay, now this part, red color part, this one is a liquid. When starting, there's a normal water only. The water is a blue color. When they just heat up, they become red color. Then they go to the part generator. 
Okay, now we go to part generator. Okay, this one is a part for generator. Okay, this one is the uh, hot water just now. The hot water come down already. Okay, the hot steam. When the water heat up, becomes steam. When starting is water, then they just heat until become hot steam. The hot steam will come down here. Okay, come down here. That means we need to introduce the structure. Okay, number six is a condenser. Condenser. Number seven, that's the turbine. Number eight is an electricity generator. Okay, we go to zoom. Okay, number six, condenser. Condenser, just now I told you this one is a hot gas, is it? The steam. Okay, steam, they go here. Hot water, they go here. Then the cool water come down, means this one is a condenser. Let the hot gas go back to the cool water. Cool and condense the steam into the water. So they're just normal, like the condenser. Let all the hot steam become liquid back. Okay, then we go to the seven. Okay, seven is a turbine. So the hot steam, when the hot steam just come here, they can turn the turbine. That means you can imagine the steam is too strong already until they can turn the turbine. Mean the steam is very, very high energy. So this one, they can turn the turbine, rotate by the steam causing the magnet in the generator to spin. Okay, you want to produce the energy, electrical energy, you must have the moving kinetic energy together with the magnet that can produce the electricity. Okay, so from here, they're using the steam to turn the turbine. Okay, after that, the turbine will rotate. Then they will generate the electricity. Okay, then we go to number eight. Number eight, electricity generator. So they generate the electricity through the process of the electromagnetic induction. So electromagnetic induction means uh, you got conductor, you got magnet, then you move together. Then they will produce the electricity. So just like the transformer, or you just say your bicycle. Okay, the bicycle, the, we got dynamo, is it? So when you just take your bicycle, you cycle faster, you find it, the lamp you more lighter. That one is uh, one of the generator. That's a dynamo. If you never rotate, that means your view is never moved, that means they cannot produce electricity. So they must have something to rotate. Okay, rotate between the magnet. After that, they can produce electricity. So this one is an example. Also using the concept for the electromagnetic induction. Okay. So to produce the electricity. So what you need to imagine, what you need to know, you don't need to know function for every part. You just know that generator part, we got what structure? You must have turbine. We have the electric generator. Then we must have the condenser. Okay? That one is important. Okay? Yeah? Okay, so after I finish, so many explanations. Okay, now it's 10.35 already. So I want to go through the question. Okay, let's see question number one. Okay, they say they show about the sequence of the energy transformation occur in the nuclear power station. From the R, from the heat energy, then go to kinetic, then go to energy S. So you can tell me what's the R, what's the S. Okay, you just choose here. So anybody here, you just type, give me the answer. When starting is what energy? Then final is what energy? Okay, I just want the answer. So you can type in the chat room, what's the answer is it? A until D. Okay, from the R, go to S. Okay, many answer is A. Okay, two answer A already. The others? Got others answer or not? A also. Okay, everybody also answer A. Nurin answer A. Yuki also. Leon also. So you can see the answer here. Okay, I'm going to pin one of the answer to show here. Okay, I pin the answer for the... Okay. Okay, Nurin. Nurin, the answer, they show that there's an A. Okay, now we go to chat. Is it answer A? 
Okay, yeah, correct. The answer is A. So the student you choose the A should be correct. Okay. So that means we're starting with using the nuclear energy. We're using the nuclear energy. Then they're using the heat. Heat is a nuclear fission. After that, they move the turbine. They rotate the turbine. This is a kinetic energy. Last one, they produce the electricity. So that one is an electrical energy. So A should be correct. Okay, question number two. Okay, diagram two show the process of the nuclear fission. Okay, what's the energy for the X? Uh, that's a simple question. Just now I asked already this question. Okay, the energy we call it as a. Okay, just type the answer there. I will pin your answer. So, anybody? Okay, just means the answer D already. Hui Jun also D. Ong Jayun. Okay, so I want Ong Jayun answer. Okay, then we show here whose answer is correct. Leong also D. Okay, so Ong Jayun, they give me D. Okay, we check it. Okay, many of you also give the answer there's a D. So the answer is D. Okay, so the answer is here there's a D. Okay, good. Many students also answer correct. Okay, yeah? so that means you can follow uh, my lesson. So I continue to the next part. That's uh, number three. Okay, number three. Which of the following radioactive substances that's a bombarded by the neutron in a reactor? So anybody can answer this one. Just now I told you the nuclear fission. Neutron, we go to bombard the big nucleus. The big nucleus we call what name? Okay, B, uranium. Okay, Elaine also answered B. Okay. Leong, Yuki. Okay, I'm going to choose the answer for the... Okay, June also answer. Jala also same. Okay, here. So we choose one of the student answer here. Okay, let's see the answer. Okay, the answer from Elaine, there's a B. Okay, so I show here the answer is B. Okay, that's a uranium. Okay, remember the first one. The behind there, after they bombarded, they want lighter nucleus. We no need to know what's the name. We just know the first one that enough already. Okay, then we go to question number four. Okay, from this one, diagram three, they show about the process of the generating electricity from the nuclear energy. What is X? Okay, we see the process here. Nuclear fission in the reactor, they heat up. Then the water in the reactor, okay, heat the water. After that, they produce the steam. Okay, now steam go to turbine. Then after that, go to X, then produce the electricity. So you tell me what is X? Okay, what's the X before you produce the electrical energy? So can okay, answer here? D, okay, actually Lim give me D. Jala give me A. Just now, I never introduced any transformer. Okay, I never say about transformer. So Amanda also D, Yoki also D. That's a electric generator, is it? Because you want to generate electricity. So from here, we choose the answer for Amanda. Okay, let's see the answer here. Okay. No mind, Jala would try. <laughs> you type wrong already. Okay. The answer, Amanda B. Is it correct for B? So anybody can answer me. Is it correct for B? B is what? Radiator. We also never say about radiator just now. So we chose another answer. B radiator. 
So the answer from Jala again, they say the type wrong typing. So I pick the answer from Jala. Okay, now after the correction, they give the answer is uh, donkey. Okay, that's uh, electric generator. So we go to show the answer is B or donkey. Okay, the answer here. Okay, I show the answer because this one pin already blocked the answer. Okay, I disappear first. Okay, the answer is D. That's an electric generator. Okay. Then we go to number five. Okay, which one following is caused by radioactive radiation? Okay, cause. That means the effect. So from here, which one you think there's a cause by the effect of radioactive? Why you all ignore power station? You all don't want the nuclear energy. Why? What's the effect? So you just answer here. Is it the hepatitis B? Is it the fire? Is it the demomity for the fetus? Or do you say the increase for the uh, heartbeat? Okay. So from here, you go to choose D, increase the heartbeat. C, uh, just now I got mentioned a little bit. I say the scare because of the generation, is it? I mean the coming generation that will affect it. So maybe now you are okay. Maybe the next one. I mean the next coming. So from here, I'm going to choose the answer from Leon. Okay, Leon Yu Cheng, you give me the answer. That's a okay. Let's see on the screen. I pin already. Okay, Leon, they give me the answer is C. Okay, so from here we're going to see the answer here. Okay, there is C. Okay, because they will cause about your effect for the generation. Okay, for your coming generation. So that's why they will fall about the deformity for the fetus. Okay, so my question for you to answer finish already. So this one is the, what I want to tell you. For today, I got upload the exercise for this uh, nuclear energy in your Google Classroom. For the student, you still do want to enter the Google Classroom. So you can go to my last, the yesterday lesson uh, in my Google Live, uh, sorry, in my YouTube Live. I already typed the, the address. That means I pin the address there. There's a Google Drive at the comments. So you can go there and download. Okay. They got exercise for the next lesson. There's a 12, that means today lesson. Nah. That one should be the all the exercise subjective is there. So for the student, you got Google Classroom, you straightforward, go there and print out, download and print out and do it. For the student, you don't have the Google Classroom, you still don't want to enter, that means you can go through the last lesson, the YouTube Live, okay? You can find out the chapter 11, the one motion, uh, discussion for summative practice. So I got pinned the comment there about this address. So you can copy from there, okay? So our lesson just until here only. So hopefully you understand what's the nuclear energy. But we still know you're finished for this topic. That one just part one. Okay. So the next one should be the part two. So hopefully you do your homework. Okay. Download and finish your homework. Then we also will be discussed for the next lesson. So thank you for your watching. Thank you, Elaine. Okay. Thank you all the students. Okay, attendant, please, uh, in the Google Classroom. So after uh, my class until 11, so after 11, I will stop to take the attendance. So thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you, Noreen. Thank you, Ashley.